Yo, what's up, yo? Welcome to another Project Polaro video. Uh, in this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to beat the 10th gym. I would have done a video on the 9th gym, but I already beat it before thinking of making a video. Uh, to do this, you're going to need a Pokemon that has a poison type move or a burn type move, such as I'm using Vileplume. Uh, you know, I had an Oddish. It's got Sludge Bomb and Acid. Good poison type moves. Uh, the slacking has fire punch, some burn damage. Because what you're going to be doing is toxic stall or burn stall. Pretty much what that means is you're going to poison or burn the other Pokemon. And then you're just going to wait it out until they die due to the poison or burn. Now the 10th gym is in Almia Town. I don't know how to get here. I It was just in my you know taxi. So I mean, yeah. Once you get to Elmia Town, you're going to want to come over to this side, I believe, towards this gray building. Just run through. All right. Now, pretty much you just follow wherever I go. Oh yeah, I do want to let you guys know, you will need a lot of revives and full restores. If you need the money, you can watch my latest video on how to AFK farm the bot and get some money. Uh, this first turn here, I'll just use my Gyarados, nice and simple. Uh, let's see, if you try and beat this gym normally, I suggest not trying to do that because, well, one, um, the, uh, the Pokemon are very, very tanky and it is going to be very difficult. Oh my God, all these Will-O-Wisps. Love getting burned. I'm just using Gyarados here, real nice and simple. I stack a few Dragon Dances, use Waterfall. You know, should kill almost anything. I mean, I'll kill the trainers, but the gym leader, no, it won't do a single thing. Even with six Dragon Dances, fully EV trained Pokemon. Oh, no, that's unfortunate. All right, uh, first trainer done here. Let me revive my Gyarados, set up to a full restore, hit him with a max elixir. And now we'll put our Vile Plume in the front. Pretty much our goal here is just trying to poison the Pokemon. All right, Priest, Nikyu, um, Sinister Woods Gym Leader. All right, 10th Gym. Uh, he's a ghost type and oh my God, this is so tanky. Alright, we'll try and see if Sludge Bomb works, see if it poisons. Oh yeah, literally any Pokemon you send out, they're going to get one hit. And I feel like it's best to do this with um, poison types because, or you know, using Toxic because poison, the longer the battle goes on, the more damage it will do. There we go, it's poisoned. Now all we got to do is just stall. You know, making sure we keep all of our Pokemon alive. Uh, we'll switch out to our Togekiss. It's a little bit more tankier than our Vile Bloom. Uh, why not? Uh, you know, it still gets one hit. <laughs> it's nice. Alright, let's first Pokemon down. We'll switch out into our Vile Plume. Uh, Gengar, you cannot poison him. Because he is a poison type. You cannot poison poison types. I just realized this. So, uh, let's see if we can switch over to our Slacking. This is why we have Burn. 
Oh, but he has Focus Punch. It's okay. Switch on to our slack and try and get that burn damage off. Oh, you know what? He's got Focus Blast again. It took so many Fire Punches, but we finally burned him. All right, let's use this time to heal up our Pokemon. You know, he can't really hurt me. Uh, he's out of Focus Blast, I believe, and the only thing that's going to hurt me is the burn damage. Alright, that is a dead Gengar. Nice. Next Pokemon coming out is Mimikyu. Uh, I think, pretty sure you should be able to poison this one. It doesn't affect it. Huh. Here, we'll try slacking. Extra, we'll just rely on the poison. Ah, it was burned. Okay, I'll take that. But yeah, the chance of getting a burn on uh, Fire Punch is so terrible, man. Like, your chances are terrible. Wow, my slacking is not even fully EV trained. Yeah, it's actually taking hits. Love to see it. Nice, that's the third Pokemon down. We have three more to go. Hoopa. Send out our Vile Plume. Get some poison on this. Destiny Bond. Please keep you. Nice, it got poisoned. Well, we just waited out now. Just the waiting game here. Alright, Mars Shadow. Okay, you know what? Uh, oh wow, it got poison. Amazing. Well, let's just revive everybody back up. As long as I revive here instead of full restoring, uh, I will stay alive. Yeah. Always going to be ending up between one and two Pokemon on this one. See, during this entire battle, I've used 21. Now 22 revives, so you're going to need a lot. Honestly, probably like 50 maximum. Yeah. Alright, since it's using workup, uh, my Pokemon are not dying. So I've been able to... Uh, Get a few of them revived. Giratina, oh, we can use Sludge Bomb on this, except that our Viral Plume is dead. So we will send out Garchomp, revive the Viral Plume. See if it works one more time. Okay, you know, I don't think Giratina has uh, status moves. Nice, it's just using Shadow Punch. Or, I mean, Shadow Ball. Ooh, it is burned. This battle has been won. Just revive all of our Pokemon. Yep, Giratina is using Struggle. It's run out of attacks. We've won this battle. That's easier. It just takes a lot of time because, you know, with Toxic, using Poison and Burn, it, it's a chance that they will get burned or poisoned. So I do suggest bringing a poison type and a fire type just so you can poison and burn your enemy. The ghost badge and an aura ticket. Let's look over here. Bam, the 10th gym badge. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll hit you guys up with the 11th gym soon. I'll see y'all next time.
Peace.